Welcome. This is the uh, seventh grade TCAP practice test for math. This is question number 10. The question says, the picture shows the side lengths of triangle DEF. Which could be the length of the sides of a triangle similar to triangle DEF? Now the key word here, because I said it in a certain way that would make you think it's a key word, is the word similar. Now similar means that you can create proportions that are the same, or the ratio relationships are the same here. So what I'm going to do is just pick two sides and then try some things to see if I can make a proportion that's the, thing, uh, that's the same. So it basically means that the relationships between the sides should be, in, uh, should be similar to the relationships in the original triangle. Like I have the small size being 32 over 40. If you want to go ahead and type that in and reduce the fraction, it'll give you something like four-fifths is that relationship. What we need to do is find another fra uh, triangle that has the same relationships between its two smallest sides. We've, the reason I chose the smallest sides, by the way, is laziness, really. Uh, the small sides are listed first in each one of these triangles. It's just convenient. So what I'm going to do is try 16 over 24. If I do 16 over 24, I get two-thirds. So that's not it. So that can't be the relationship. Now I'm going to try 24 over 30 because it's the net. All I'm doing is picking the first two in each one. The camera's a little weird today. 24 over 30 because those are the two smallest sides. So I'm going to do 24 over 30 and I get four-fifths. That's looking pretty good, right? So I'm going to put a star next to G and see if any of the other ones work that way too. So now I'm going to try um, 40 over 48. By the way, this is four-fifths. And I get five-sixths. So that one can't be it. So I'm going to mark that out. And then I'm going to do J, 40 over 50. And obviously, that's going to give me four-fifths. So now I'm down to two, so that's good. Now what I'm going to do is pick two other sides and make a comparison. So I'm just going to pick the first one, or the smallest one and the largest one. So 32 over 52. I'm going to do 32 over 52, and it gives me 8 over 13. Now I'm going to pick the smallest one and the largest one here, 24 and 36, and it gives me 2 thirds. But I needed it to give me 8 thirteenths, so it's probably not going to be G. So I'm going to try out this last one, and my smallest side here is 40, and my largest size is 65. And looky there, 8 over 13, just like I needed it to. And also, if you wanted to do the middle to the biggest side, you'd find the same relationship there. So 40 over 52 gives me 10 thirteenths, whereas 50 over 65 also gives me 10 thirteenths. So what you're looking for is you pick two sides. I would usually do like two small ones first and then find a ratio or set up a fraction and see if you can find a fraction that matches. Mark some of these out and then it leads you to the right answer. It's really easy um, to get these right. I would start first with doing the two smallest angles or two smallest sides then do the two smallest sides out of each one. Then I would do the smallest and the largest. And if you could find one that matches both those ratios or both those fractions, then you have the right answer. And if you want to test the middle section and the big one, go ahead. It'll give you the same result, assuming you've done it correctly. So that's all you need to do for number 10.